Aerodynamic pressure. And as the velocity increases, the density of the atmosphere is decreasing. Max Q. Lessening stress on the vehicle. The call out. Max Q now. Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down range. Hundred seconds into flight. Our next major activity is going to be set down of the first stage. The Houston tracking station now acquiring the vehicle. With shut down, we will get separation of Starship and Super Heavy and ignition of the Starship engines. When Starship separates, we light up six engines in a staggered sequence. And if all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard view from Starship. And there's views of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. Continuing to fly, two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. cutoff. Beginning the flip for stage separation. As of right now, we are awaiting stage separation, where Starship should separate from the Super Heavy booster. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is, uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. to clear the pad and make it this far into the test flight, the first integrated flight of the booster and the Starship vehicle. Live view there of our control center at Starbase, uh, which we refer to as Star Command. <laughs> 
As we said before, obviously we wanted to make it all the way through, but to get this far, honestly, is amazing. <laughs>